Hey, hi friends. So in our last couple of blogs, we've seen uh, how we can extract the OLAP uh, database from OLTP and then build, the, build uh, extract dimensions, build a cube, build the ETL to extract the data from OLTP and, and load it into our OLAP database. And furthermore, we have learned to process the cube and, and then move on uh, and connect the cube to uh, SS rs and, and and then draw reports from them so that case study was a complete end-to-end -end, uh, example of how we can uh, use microsoft databases and business intelligence and an end-to-end -end to create data mining and analytics so so far uh, in, in what do i have in this blog is actually a small part of that is about using ssis to process cubes so that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this in this blog. So I add a new SSIS package uh, and then let's start to uh, try to process the cube which we had already uh, and learn about how we can do that through SSIS. So considering that I have uh, this cube currently which is again I'm reusing the cube I had I had built uh, and developed in, in, in my last blog. So I'm going to use this cube and it has uh, dimensions, a uh, couple of dimensions and the measure groups so we are just going to use the same and try to process uh, process this via SSIS and, and see how we can do that uh, okay then let's start I say using SSIS let me just set it to maybe yeah fine and then the first step is to add a connection manager so we add a new SS, uh, AS connection which should point our, uh, to this server and, uh, and the cube database that we are going to use and to process it so so uh, you have the connection string here which says data source localhost provider so you'll have to feed the connection uh, so currently I'll be using this uh, SS AS connection the cube again is the cube underscore magnifier which is the name of the cube and, and then the rest of the uh, providers that is uh, MS OLAP 0.5 integration uh, the security context and the impersonation mode so I'll just uh, override this connection string and say okay so so that creates my connection string next what I am uh, I am going to do is I am going to create the use the task so say SSIS toolbox and then maybe SS analysis services or rather let's get the sequence container first and then analysis services so that adds the task here and then once you double click this you will get the processing settings here so it's going to connect to the connection manager the cube connection manager that we are, we are uh, using here so it connects to the cube and, and it, it drills down to the cubes and the dimensions that we would want to process now I, I will I will first of all demonstrate the wrong way so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll use the cube and the dimensions all of them here to process at, at one go and here you have the processing settings and expressions as well to override the runtime. So we we are not going to use expressions as at this point in time. We are just going to hard code the settings. So we can as well hard you know override the connection at, at the dynamic runtime. So and then this processing order is sequential, so which means it is going to process everything sequentially. We are done. So let's try to run this. So we have been able to process process this although but it would be uh, the wrong way to actually do it. Why do I say that although the processing has succeeded but ideally uh, the processing in, in complex cubes would fail uh, and the reason I, I would like to cite why is here in the sequence container when I add let me add another analysis services uh, and then let's choose so here you have the cubes and the dimensions so in, in the event that that your couple of dimensions are degenerate and, and uh, dependent on each other it's ideal that you process your dimensions first in the first task of your analysis services and you choose the dimensions accordingly in the right sequence so that say in your test dimension is actually dependent on the table dimension in that case your table dimension should be processed first and then followed by the test 
so you choose the dimensions here and then uh, use another task to actually once these dimensions are processed you go ahead and, and then you act actually process your cube so that would be your fact right so so that would be your cube processing so that would uh, give you the right results because uh, and let's now try to process this let's execute container right so so your cube is, is now processed so that was uh, one advice as of now so for this quick uh, blog i think uh, you would you have learned now how to process a cube through ssis at the end of the task uh, and how you can integrate that with your ssis thank you friends